right now I am just staring at the Megabus website trying to figure out what time I should get on the bus to go to New York to stay at a capsule hotel. So I have been invited to go down to Google YouTube Studios to take a couple classes that they offer sometimes. I, uh, I sign up for all of them and I'm gonna be staying in a capsule hotel. I looked at some Airbnb stuff and I looked at this one like DIY vegetarian hostel. I looked up just like capsule hotels because I really just need a place to take a nice shower and sleep but also like feel secure. The reviews for the one like vegetarian hostel were like, I didn't sleep well and I didn't feel secure. I, uh, I selected this. It has a shared bathroom for the price bracket that I grabbed, but apparently there's an indicator light in your room that lets you know when the shower is free. I shower at my gym every time I go, so that's not gonna be too weird. So I'm fine with that. Like I said, just a good shower. And there's a sink in your room so I can brush my teeth in the morning. It should be okay, so. I looked up capsule hotels on Google to find something in New York and it gave me this hotel called Pod 51. So this isn't anything like the Japanese style capsule hotel that I was kind of hoping for and you may expect, but this was kind of a really cool experience nonetheless. So checking out this website, everything seemed really modern and really cool. I loved all of the graphics and I'm a sucker for interior design and anything bright and polished and green. So I checked out some of the rooms and you can get rooms that are a lot bigger than the one I chose, which I think is not a common feature to a traditional capsule hotel that you might be thinking. Lots of different options. So there was this bunk bed option with a shared bathroom and a queen size mattress, full size mattress. And this is what I got, single. All of this seems beautiful and crisp and interesting and amazing and marbly, showery, over the top. I was into it. They have prices based on what I assume is popularity or different things like that. But you can see on Sunday nights, you can get a room as cheap as $89. I stayed Thursday into Friday and I paid this $116 price. After taxes and facility fees, it came to $159, which I found was pretty reasonable. Higher than I wanted to spend in theory, but a price I was pretty comfortable with. Let's head to our pod hotel. So I just arrived at my capsule hotel and I'll give you a quick run through of the room. So here's the door, you just walked in. So this is me tucked into the corner here. If I pan up, here is a little desk, it has this like modern chair here. And the desk is like built into the bed. As far as amenities, there's a notepad, a phone from the 70s, remote tissue box, and here is a TV. From the TV, the ceiling is about that high. And then we will pivot over to the bed. So the bed has two little over overhead lamps. The bed is a twin size. I wonder if this is storage. Yeah, so you have some storage under here. I guess this is just a little... Hmm. Is that my only blanket? Here's my napkin. And then here's the bed here. Okay, there's that, like, hotel blanket you want tucked in there. Here's my pillow. And then over here, there's some, like, hotel amenities. There's towels. Um, a toilet paper, a blow dryer, 
in an alarm clock with an old school iPod dock here. Outside of my window, you can see some apartments, I'm assuming, for across here. But I could just close that. And then in here, if you reach inside, there is hot and cold air, waste bin, and there is a sink in my room. And then above that is a mirror, it's an outlet, face and body bar, cup. Me, I am so, so tired. My back is like on fire from carrying my backpack. Then there is a safe um, with some carpet in it. This, oh, I guess this holds your luggage. And then above that is a shelf with like a more fluffy pillow. That might be what I choose. A little hook for your coat or whatever. And then you can see here these four indicator lights. I believe mean that the bathroom is open. So there's no bathroom in here. We're gonna go check it out. Here's our first one. So it's a vacant and it's bathroom number one. And you need your key to get in. Looks like someone just used it. And there is a rainfall shower head, which can be a good or bad thing if you're traveling and you don't want to wash your hair, you kind of can't avoid it. In here, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash is provided. Me again. Someone has left their toothbrush and toothpaste in here. Hand soap, I guess? And toilet, which reminds me there's no toilet in my room. Kind of my first time thinking about that. So there was a cafe in the lobby that was open late and I saw some people getting sandwiches and stuff like that, but I went around the corner and found a bunch of ramen places. So this ramen was about $15 and I decided to eat it in my room, but this takeout ramen required a microwave to prep, so it wasn't as good as it could potentially be. Pretty quickly, this space kind of got really occupied, so I just wanted to clean it up really quickly and just use my like takeout bag as my trash can. Because I have a trash can, but it doesn't have a liner, so I don't want to put like, like literally anything in it. So it looks like no one is in the bathrooms right now. It is Thursday night, and there is kind of like a scene around here, I guess, some bars and stuff. So I'm gonna to try to take a shower. There is a rooftop that seems pretty cool. Maybe I'll have my coffee up there in the morning, but as of right now, downstairs is like a private event that's happening with like loud DJ music and stuff. And I'm honestly so, so tired. When I got to the room, I laid down and I thought I was gonna fall asleep without eating dinner. I think now is my chance to like run into the bathroom locker room style i'm going to grab everything that i need and take it there so i do have towels okay, i just have some bar soap some face wash and i'm just bringing this is like a small towel and then all i think all of the towels are this like smallish size i'm not going to brush my teeth out there i'm going to brush my teeth here. I just want to use the restroom to like wash my body as we do and use a toilet because this isn't a toilet. As much as that makes me think that perhaps toilet things go on in here. I just emptied out my purse to put everything in here because you need your room key obviously to get back in your room but also to get into the bathroom but I thought it would be a mad dash to uh, take a shower before bed, but I don't know the scene, but it might be people at the bar right now, so I'm gonna get in where I fit in. It's a little more dry than the last time I was in here. You know what? 
idea what that is. Temperature? I'm just gonna let that run for a while so some of this gets cleared out. Those I didn't bring like shower shoes. I didn't think about it. So my shower experience was just fine. I ended up washing my hair and getting a ton of water on the floor. Uh, remember that your towels, I guess, are also your bath mat, so three towels go really fast. So this thing was actually for temperature, which was great. I made this shower really, really hot to like disinfect the floor, I don't know. I mean, the shower curtain touching me was gross, but... After that, I came back to my room and just performed some human nightly rituals. There wasn't a hamper, so I just had to remember which towel was the one I had on the floor. But I really did love having the sink in my room. So I just brushed out my hair. Uh, the shampoo was all right. It was lavender scented, so it felt very natural, but it did kind of strip a little bit of the color out of my hair, I noticed the next day. So I brushed my teeth and I actually hung up my clothes. That's because I was staying in New York and I packed a couple outfits and I didn't want them to get wrinkled in my bag. Then it was time to fall asleep. It was actually pretty nice in there. I haven't slept in a twin size bed in a long time. It felt pretty cozy. So the next morning it was actually colder than I had expected it to be in New York. You could see I packed a dress and some shorts, and in the night I was really, really cold. That little piece of quilt didn't do me any favors at night. So I recycled my outfit, except for this t-shirt, but whatever. Hey everyone, good morning. Um, I woke up a couple times in the night after falling asleep. It got really, really, really cold in here. And I wish this like little runner on the bed, this thing, when I walked in that was like a quilt at the end of the bed and it's just like an oven mitt. <laughs> in the middle of the night I like pulled this thing up I was like ooh. The temperature of the room is for the most part adjustable. I could have turned down the air but I was also using the like air as a like a white noise. You might be able to hear it now because I have completely turned off the air conditioning. There is still like a, a general humming as if I didn't turn it off. Hopefully it's not super loud and this footage is unusable. I did some exploring and not every bathroom is the same. For the most part, they are shower, toilet, whatever, but each bathroom is a little different and I don't think for any particular reason other than construction of the building and square footage that was available to place a bathroom. So I did find a bathroom that had a shelf in it, which would have been great because I did get all that water on the floor trying to transfer like my face wash into the shower and dripping off of my arm and stuff like that. And I felt really guilty when there was another bathroom that actually had a shower seat. I'm kind of waiting for all my electronics to charge and everything like that. But I do want to check out the rooftop cafe. I mean the rooftop and downstairs there is also a cafe. I had packed a dress to wear today and only these pants from yesterday which I spilled that ramen all over. I have to remember to stop dressing up for these YouTube events because they are like five hour, six hour lectures and I'm just like, I'm on YouTube, I have to wear a dress. Put some makeup on, go downstairs to the cafe and see what it's about, and then go to the roof. The garden opens at 10, so I might miss it, but I'm hoping, I'm, I'm hoping the roof is just a door that you walk out to. Last night, I was a little panicked. I was like, what, what have I done? Why didn't I spend like 50 more dollars to get a bathroom in my room? But now I'm just like, why would I spend $50? I only used it twice. Hey everyone, so I am all packed and ready to check out. Check out is at noon. The roof deck was so cool and 
I wanted to give you my overall impression of staying in a capsule hotel. So it wasn't like a capsule hotel that like I've seen online in other countries. It was a very like American experience. I talked to a couple people in the lobby and it seemed that a majority of the people were tourists from other countries, European countries. I can see this being a perfect experience for someone like that. The doors locked, there's security. You're coming to New York for the other experiences and not necessarily the experiences in the hotel. So if you've ever stayed in New York City, there is a lot of taxes, service fees and stuff that are attached to staying in a hotel. And the last hotel I stayed at in New York, the last time I came to Google, I stayed in a hotel that charged me for a gym fee and like a laundry service. And I was only staying one night. I couldn't eliminate that service. So it was cool to stay somewhere that didn't have all of that stuff. Though there was still taxes, New York City hotel tax, and there was some facility fees, they were a lot lower than a place that tax on like access to our conference room when it's not something you need, especially if you're only staying for 24 hours. And honestly, the space is all I needed. I loved the sink in the room, that was pretty cool. I will say I was a little misled by some of the pictures online on the website, but at the same time, it didn't, it only shocked me initially, and then I kind of grew on this experience and really, really liked it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if it is your first time here, and if you like videos like this, I love making them, and let me know, would you stay here? Anyway, I love you guys.